move forward. Yeah. You know, especially if you're someone that does not really understand what it takes in order to make it out there. I was about to say, well, yeah. you, everybody's yeah. like, you go with Wink, you get booked. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what? <laughs> that would be nice. I wish I could say that. <laughs> um, but what I will say, what I will say is, um, so they're essential. Don't get me wrong. They're an, es they're an essential part. Um, and the truth is, I, I happen to work with some real amazing talent and but the bottom line is their talent speaks for themselves. Wow. You know, wow. it speaks for themselves. And, and, and what I do is I just I'm just a part of helping to facilitate that process. Yeah. You know, uh, there's sometimes you may have to go through some packaging. Sometimes you have to look at different things that may need to shift. But at the end of the day, they, they are the independent contractors that are killing the game. And so to your point, yes, focus on your craft. If you are pursuing, if your pursuit is to just find a manager, you know, or a talent agent or a representative, yeah. you know, then you're not doing anything to build yourself. You know, talent managers, talent agents or reps in general, they're looking for, this is a business. So they're looking for people that they can sell. Yeah. <laughs> we get paid based on you booking, you yeah. know? So if you're coming talking about, hey, you know, let's, let's do this representation thing, you know, but you're not, you don't have anything to present Mm. You know, there's not much I can really do. However, that's good. that's good. Yeah. But however, you know, there are things that you can do to develop yourself. You know, yeah. you can, uh, you know, take classes. You can do workshops. Right now, what's huge is on camera training. Yeah. Everyone's booking on camera now. That was totally different, especially when I was. When I was pursuing things, I don't even think you saw a camera. It was just you walking up in there, shaking hands with producers and directors and hoping, you know, they'll come back and, and call you back again and you have to travel again. But, uh, no, the game is different now, yeah. you know. We should be focusing, everyone should be focusing on the essential tools of today, yeah. which should be uh, on-camera training, you know, um, you know, being in a gym, you know, doing workshops, uh, when I say being in a gym, I'm talking about always working out, kind of like a boxer, you know? Yeah. Uh, you're never going to find a, a successful boxer who was great, but then stopped training because they were great and, they, they, and they're still winning fights. No, that doesn't happen. You get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's real because there's a lot of competition out here. People are hungry. Yeah. They're hungry, you know? And so you have to have the pedigree to uh, really want this thing, you know? And it has to be bigger than I just want a book. It has to be, you know, this is where I belong. This is who I am, you know, and I know regardless of who tells me no, that I'm a yes. And you have to go into those rooms every single time with that same feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's that's where I would go with that. How do you navigate no's, especially like if there's a, a talent or someone who you're, you really want to manage and you're like, they tell you no. Like, how do you navigate those no's? What, how do you motivate yourself to, to bounce back and be like, okay, I'll, I'll go to the next person or I'll try this again, different timing? That's where I try to encourage people to pay more attention to um, themselves. Oh. It's, it's important for you to be grounded. Yeah. You know, you have to understand why you're doing this. Yeah. You know, if you're doing it because you saw somebody else doing it and he looked nice on TV and it's real dope to have people watching you from home on TV <laughs> and you going on red carpets. When, when, when that happens, you're, you don't have the right focus. And so yeah. you burn out much faster than someone that says, hey, I woke up one morning and I felt like I can express myself through my art. You know, I felt like this thing is therapeutic. You know, I felt like regardless of whether I'm talking to an audience of one million people or zero, I feel like I just did an amazing art piece. Mm -hmm. I could put that on the wall and I'll cherish it for the rest of my life. And if that's your feeling about being a talent, it don't matter what these casting directors say. It don't matter what these producers say. Now, don't get me wrong. You got to make money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not going to do that for your whole life. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be an actor that's just, I'm, I'm able to handle those. Nah, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. But you have to equip yourself. You have to prepare yourself in a way where uh, those no's don't kill your spirit. You have to find ways to justify. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and the yes and no's. Um, 
can't be things that you allow to sit within your soul. Uh, notice I said yes and no's. Yeah. Because sometimes someone will hear a yes and they think, oh, I'm a superstar. Yeah. And that's the wrong attitude the too. Raise the price and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Acknowledge it. Yeah. Acknowledge the no's. You know, sometimes those no's are real. You know, hey, you know what? I need to pick up on this. Pay attention to the notes. Casting directors, they they want to make sure they, they are impressed when they give a note and they call a talent back. Mm-hmm. And the talent followed through on that note. You know, they, they, they're, you know, when I say notes, they're asking for you to make certain adjustments with what you're doing. Yeah. And you follow through and you do that. And the next time you come in and you show that, you know, that pushes you up on a notch. You know, so, so the other part of your question, right, yeah. <laughs> was uh, how do I handle, uh, how do I handle being rejected by talent? Yeah. Interesting that you say that. Um, and I thank you for that. These, first of all, <laughs> amazing questions. Because no one's ever asked me this stuff before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, hmm, how do you handle that? So it's interesting because um, I think talent managers and talent agents, they're sought after a lot. Yeah. You know, so... I spend more energy um, trying to be uh, constructive and trying to, you know, and, and helping people to navigate through this industry, uh, you know, on a mass message um, without like making them feel like they haven't made it. Because what happens is, you know, a lot of people want representation. You know, they think that that's what it is. And a lot of times that's not it. You know, we already talked about it. It's it's, your talent speaks for itself. Your talent and the evidence that you produce, uh, you know, it it makes talent reps want you. And so you approach people. So I spend more time letting people down. And I don't like to say letting down. I like to just say, you know, advising them to, you know, what you need to do in order to, you know, before you decide to pursue agents or managers Um, but for for uh, there are times where I am interested in talent and it's it's rare that it's a the the conversation never really opens up hey I want to represent you yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) you know the conversation usually is hey you know well we can we know what's going on because you can see who represents them you know there's a lot of public data that's out there if that doesn't, you know, because you never want to step on anyone's shoes. Yeah. You Talk know? about it. <laughs> yeah, you never want to step on anyone's shoes. And, that, and that's, a, that's a golden rule. Unwritten you know? etiquette. Yeah. For being you know, not everybody does it, but, you know, I try to stick to those things. There's, there's a lot of mud, a lot of puddles you can step into. And I, I try to, you know, the things that I know that I should never touch on, 